Hi Noah, good morning, it's Miss Lisa. It's super nice to see you today. Um, I'm gonna finish today the story that we started about Joseph. And if you remember, Joseph is Jacob's son. Jacob had 12 sons, but Joseph was his favorite one. And because he was his favorite one, he gave him this special coat. <clears throat> and if you probably remember from Miss Roberta telling the story that Joseph's brothers were jealous of him and they weren't kind to him and they sold him into slavery. And here you can see there's Joseph as a boy being sold into slavery. <clears throat> and that's where we're going to pick up our story. <clears throat> so Joseph was sold into slavery and then eventually he was actually put into jail. But God still had a plan for him and when he was in jail, he met a friend who ended up working for Pharaoh the king. And one time, um, Pharaoh was having a dream and he wanted to know what the dream meant and he couldn't find anyone to tell him what that dream meant. However, the friend of Joseph's that Joseph met in jail had mentioned Joseph and that Joseph might be able to tell him what his dream meant. And Joseph was able to tell him what his dream meant. His dream was telling him that there was going to be seven years where there was tons of food and then seven years where there was no food at all. And because Joseph could tell him what this dream meant, he gave Joseph a very important job. He, Joseph's job was to be in charge of the food and selling the food to make sure everyone had what they needed. Well, one day when Joseph was selling the food, do you want to guess who came to buy some? This is a tricky one. His brothers. And they didn't recognize him. They hadn't seen him for a long time. I've got a picture here. Here's Joseph now. He's in charge and he's got a very important job and he's selling the food to all the people. His brothers didn't know it was him. But Joseph recognized them. I'm sorry, Rico's being a little loud. I'll try to talk over him. Um, the, the brothers didn't recognize him, but Joseph recognized them. And he really wanted to believe that they had changed, but he wasn't sure. So he made them go and bring back Benjamin, his youngest brother. And Benjamin was with his dad. And they went and brought back Benjamin. And Joseph realized that they really had changed and that they had felt sorry for what they did to him. And so what Joseph chose to do was forgive his brothers. And that must have been really hard to do because they were really mean to him. They sold him into slavery. They basically left him completely abandoned and in a really bad situation, but he chose to forgive them. And because he chose to forgive them, he was able take them back and be part of the family again. And since he was in such a, a high position of being in charge of how all the food was distributed, he was able to take Jacob, his father, and all his brothers and provide for them and make sure that they had enough food when there was the famine where there was not enough food for everyone. So Joseph really chose to forgive and he chose to be thankful that he had a family. And as we're getting ready to celebrate Thanksgiving this Thursday, it's a really good opportunity to, for us to remember to be thankful for our families, for all the people God's given us that we can love and um, we just get to spend time with. It's such, such a wonderful time to remember to thank God for all of our blessings. So I would love to pray before I say goodbye. Father God, we thank you so much for the story of Joseph and how you teach us that you really have a plan for us, each one of us, and it's a very specific plan. And even when it's hard to see sometimes, we can just trust you that you will turn it for good, just like you did with Joseph, Lord, and help us to learn how to forgive when people have hurt, hurt us, just like Joseph did. And Lord, also please help us to remember to be thankful for our families and all the people in our lives that you've blessed us with, that we get to love and that love us, Lord. It's such a gift. And this Thanksgiving, let us just give all praise to you and just gratefulness to you for all our blessings. We love you, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Have a great Thanksgiving, Noah. We love you.